I guess I'm supposed to do like a before and after thing, so I got to take off my clothes. All right, guys, I got some really important information to share with you guys today about saving you money and your life. We're going to meet back here at this table to talk about it, but first, how I got here. Also, check out these new lights. Party time, party time. Woo, woo, woo. 6 in the morning. <laughs> Now I imagine some of you are probably wondering about the title of this video. We're gonna get there, I promise. Big retake, a lot. Well, I'm sure it doesn't look that easy, and it's not. <laughs> I need to go take a shower, and then we're gonna hit the road. <sighs> Showers are so much easier without hair. Rental car, had to get a haircut too. Getting a little long there. You like it? If you saw the last video, you know we were camping this weekend. And after the camping trip, we sat around the dinner table and everybody shared what was their favorite part about the camping trip. And I had three favorite parts and that's the story I'm gonna tell you now. So while we're at camp, my boys wanted to fish. I would bet this is a common childhood wish. When we got to the lake, young Eli made a mistake. He got his lino tangled up like a corkscrew snake. He looked at me, can you help me daddy? Of course I could, but I have this deep rooted need to see my kids succeed in this life. And that takes hard work and struggle and strife. So I said, son, you're on, you're your, on your own. own. And he looked at his feet, and let out a groan. When he looked back up and said, I just can't, I saw the perfect soil for my seed to plant. I said, okay, I guess you don't get to fish. As I said before, this is his camping wish. Although he's probably thinking, my dad is a jerk, he put his pole down and started to work. A couple pulls here and a couple pulls there. Soon his line was free, not tangled like hair. A small step on his way from boy to man. When you think that you can't, just know that you can. And that, is story number one. Shortly after that, as we're leaving the fishing spot, Noah's got his bike with him and he's trying to push it back up this hill and he doesn't, he's not able to do it. He's, he doesn't think he can. He says the same thing Eli did about, about his untangled line. He says, I can't, I can't do it, dad. And I just said, yes, you can. I said, we don't say can't around here. Maybe it's hard, maybe it's tough, but you can if you just push hard and you try and give it all you got. And sure enough, I didn't grab the bike. I could have easily just picked the bike up, carried it up the hill for him, be like, there you go. But that's not preparing him for the real world. You don't always have somebody that is going to pick up after you. And as much as I definitely am all about helping each other out and taking care of each other, I, part of that is, is 
that is letting kids figure it out for themselves. And this is, this is really important to what I'm talking about today in this video. And we're gonna get to the destination and I'm, I'm gonna talk about it a little more and share the story about my dad and I arguing over everything. <laughs> The third favorite moment of my weekend, my dad and I actually got into it with uh, when we started talking about politics. And, uh, and then if you saw the video, we had that those four bottles of whiskey. We drank all those bottles of whiskey, and we got, it got it got pretty heated at times. But again, it was one of my favorite favorite moments because he he really started to challenge whether or not I was actually the master of my own reality. And, and one of his biggest arguments against it was that you know it's, it's, that there's this whole game that's been set up by other people that kind of dictate more what my reality actually is or you know the game that I'm playing in and I came back and went dad it's my choice to play in that game like I'm I'm choosing to I don't have to I can go off in the woods I I can I still he didn't convince me that I'm not the master of my own reality I don't think that anyone ever really will and which is great because I like being the master of my own reality it gives me a little feeling of control that no matter what happens to me I I have the choice to decide how I feel about it. I have the choice to make the actions that I that I choose to make going forward after any given situation. And that's what the situation I'm talking about here is, is, is taking control and, and not letting the word can't creep too hard into your vocabulary and allow, allow it to rule you and dominate you and control your life where you can take control of that can and say, actually, I can't. All I have to do is choose. And this is important for what I was saying at the very beginning of this video. I'm gonna go back home now. Uh, we've I've filmed here with Jesse for three hours. I know I just walked in, but I got a lot of work done while the camera was off. And, and we're gonna show you guys how you can join us and have a support group and do what... Just here, come on, let's go. So after talking with my dad and the boys and just reflecting on that whole weekend, I, I got back to thinking about myself and my own master of reality-ness that I like to think that I have or know that I have. But And one of the things I always say on this channel is take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And I mean it, but I've also been doing a pretty bad job of taking care of myself this year. I kind of let myself go a bit and, and I just, I needed something to get me back in and as we're heading into this holiday season and and cold season and and the way this year has been i just thought it would be a really good idea to boost the immunity as much as possible and hillary's been kind of wanted to do this thing for a while and she's been trying to talk me into it and i've been i've been like i don't think i really want to do that but then i finally listened to her a little bit and so maybe we'll have her come on in the next video and she can go over it in more detail what i'm trying to do is have a whole group of us join together and, and do this 10-day cleanse that I'm going to do. And I've got the link down in the description below. If you want to check out what it's all about, you can get the 10-day, you can get the 30-day. I'm going to do 10-day. And then if you use the coupon code Cusco Wellness, you can get 50 bucks off or 25% off, whichever is greater. It's a pretty good discount. Um, and join in with us, and I'm going to have a group. We'll go on Instagram and tag everybody to keep everybody accountable during the 10-day cleanse. And... It's just a jump start to get yourself into where you may want to be in your life and how you feel, how your mind's working, how your body's working. I know I've been just putting whatever in my body for a bit now and just letting it deal with it. And that one wheel injury is still, it keeps getting me. I keep getting headaches and stuff. It's it's still there. And I know it's because I never really allowed myself the time to to heal or gave myself that time to heal from it. And so that's that's what this is about. And it's also about having a group, a community to do it with us and with you so that we can keep each other accountable. And, and it's just so much easier to do things like this when you have other people doing it with you. And we'll tag everybody on Instagram. And you don't have to be on Instagram. We, we can keep track here. We're getting the stuff in a couple days. And uh, we'll do an update then when we start it so we can all be on the exact same page. I just think it would be a really good idea for all of us and anybody that wants to get involved. So if you want to, leave a comment down below or go and look at the link and, and see what it's about, this 10-day cleanse that we're going to do. Use the coupon code so that you guys can get the discount. And I'm super stoked to do this with everybody because 
shit, dude. I'm, I guess I'm supposed to do like a before and after thing, so I got to take off my clothes. <laughs> Here's what's going on now. It's uh, it's not too bad, you know. I've I've been keeping up with the uh, the swimming and stuff and the the running at least a little bit, but I could just. I could just get it to, I'm not where I, I could be, you know, I, I could be doing much better. I just, I'm looking in the monitor, it don't look too half bad, but that's the problem. That's one thing with being a dude, I think, is we just look in the mirror like, oh, I'm doing all right. I can go get another cheeseburger going. Oh, come on, we're doing great, right? Oh, yeah, looking good, Cusco. <laughs> but, but I've been having pain and I, I need to get through it. So no, long story short, let's do this together, guys. Are you ready? Who's calling me? Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can. No, I can't. There's no I can't here. It's, it's, you can. Okay? Let's do this.